Well, ladies and gentlemen, time to do a bit of a quick talk about things. Firstly, <sighs> I've not been enjoying Earthbound. I'm sure this has been made very clear. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to do what I can to get the next couple episodes out to you guys. Um, but if I haven't gotten past the first proper area by episode 10... So if not clear giant step that's my sign to quit and if that's going to be the case then I'm going to need a replacement because I can't handle Ori that long so I think I'm going to actually start doing more crux craft again uh, and castle crashes is finally ready to start going up it went up uh, on Saturday and it's going to continue to go up about the same time over here. So that's uh, something to look forward to. But... <sighs> that leaves the question of what I'm going to do for live streams. Because I can't do two Cruxcraft episodes. And one being streamed. So... I've decided to pick up Garden Warfare 2 because why the heck not? And we're going to see how this goes, but I've been playing the game a little bit and I've honestly been enjoying it. I'm not good at it by any stretch of the imagination, but I've been enjoying the game well enough that I feel like I'd be able to make a competent series on it, maybe? So I've decided I'm going to, well, I'm going to do that for a live stream series, uh, and I'll go into more details in a sec, but uh, just wanted to let you guys know that Earthbound will be will be coming. Uh, I do have a Crux Craft episode that's ready to go out right now, uh, so that's going to go up later today. So you're getting two videos. Good for you. Um, but after, after that, I've got a couple more Earthbound recordings I need to at least do. And if, if I can get to episode 10 with, and I've actually cleared to the next area of the game, then I'll stop it for a bit. Or I'll swap it off with Cruxcraft every week, something like that. Because I don't have the time or the energy to do four videos a week. Um... As the case is there, I still have things to do for Ori. Um, we're not even halfway through the game right now. We got a lot to do, and I'm going to do what I can to finish the game uh, as quickly as possible. And that'll free up a slot for whatever else we wind up doing. Um, but. You know what? I've kind of run out of things to actually talk about right now. Um, I'm expecting... I'm expecting the first episode of the new livestream series to go up around about this time. Some point there, around there this year. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, here's episode zero. What is this? What is this? Welcome everybody to Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 because one just wasn't enough for people. This game's a little bit different from, uh, from the first game. It fixes a lot of the problems of the first game and it just generally does a couple of very odd things that first one maybe should have done maybe shouldn't have uh, first and foremost you can see I'm playing as a certain character not basic sunflower but uh, it's referred to as stuffy sunflower which is one of the new characters in the game and if you can notice right here 
this is level 7, but if we go up to the regular sunflower, it's only level 1. Which means every character levels up differently. And that makes things a little, little bit difficult. So here's what I want to do. Just to make this an interesting series. I want to unlock a character that I've never actually played before. Like something that I don't already have in the game. I want to get a new character. And I want to play through the entirety of the game with that. But, there's something a little odd about this, considering the fact that for some bizarre reason I haven't, I've only been a plant this whole time. Well, the fact of the matter is, you don't have to. Because you can do the exact same thing with the zombies. <laughs> And I've got less unlocked over here, I think. But... I want a new character for both sides of this argument. And... Each time I come back to this game, I'm going to play one side or the other. So I'm going to spend one episode playing the plant, one episode playing the zombies, that kind of thing. And I have an ultimate goal at this point now. I didn't have one uh, first time I recorded this, but I've done a little bit more exploring. So let me switch back over to plant side I want to um, go to Citron for a second just to show this off a little bit better I haven't played Citron too much that was the only thing available for me uh, while this thing was downloading so I've put some time into it enough to level it up to level 2 but I haven't done anything since then But, I've been doing a little bit of just searching around, and I found this area down here. So, yeah, there's a level 7 chest, there's a 7 star chest here, and you get stars by performing just random quests, but, while these level 7 chests are okay, I can do one better. Is if we go way, 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 way down here. We have, waiting for us, this. A 200 star chest. There's got to be something really good in here. And here's what I'm planning on doing for this series. I'm going to spend the three stars that I've got now. And I'm going to do everything I can while doing this series to unlock that chest. <laughs> when I get those 200, Whichever character of the two is the highest level, which means I put the most time and effort into that one, will get to unlock the chest. And that will change the face of the entire area, if that's going to be affected by that chest. So, the quest for 200 stars, basically. But I still want to show off the game and make sure people have an idea of what this game is like. So, don't worry, there are plans.
But some of you who haven't seen me do the last game may be asking yourselves, how do you unlock more characters in this game? Well, you can see all the characters in here when they're unlocked, but to unlock them specifically, you have to find one of these booths and open the sticker shop. Now currently I have 40,000 coins. I need 35,000 more to open this cat, uh, this phenomenal character pack. The first zombie and the first plant I get from this will be the ones I use. First character. So if this goes well. Another scientist. Paleontologist, so it's the fire scientist. Well, that was making me so mad earlier. All right, well, we have our zombie, which I'm not going to use until I do the streams. Awesome. So now I just need to get another one. All right, last match. I was able to actually upgrade this, like promote it to a different rank, and it still levels up. So it went to 10, and then started back at 1. So I'm going to have to take that into account. Good to know. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ooh, a chomper. Which one's this? Toxic Chomper. Okay! We got this. We got this. Toxic Chomper. And... This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Cause I... I think I do well as Chomper, but I'm not 100% sure. But I've also got a character for each class who just continually does damage. So, interesting. Also the first jumper I've unlocked. Awesome. Real question. Real question for this is not going to be how hard this is going to be considering who I'm playing with. The question is going to be how long is it going to take before I confuse one for another? And start playing like one instead of the other. That's going to be the interesting part of this. Let's swamp for the chomper. Next time I come back to this game. Hmm. Am I gonna play plants or zombies? Obviously, I've put the most time in plants. I'm actually gonna play with uh, zombies first, actually. 